Good morning, Jake. How are you today? Good morning. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Sitting in Tennessee. That is correct. How's the weather down there? Very hot and humid. Ugh. That's normal for August, right? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. Wonderful. Well, we want to continue our conversation about disinfectants. You know, it's still the hot topic out there in the field. And we want to just continue and talk a little bit about, specifically about some of the products that we use at Essential and that we promote. And so we wanted to get a little bit more of an in-depth conversation with you, Jake, about some of our products. So let's start with ReadyQuat. Tell us a little bit about it and tell us the usage and why you would suggest that you use ReadyQuat. Okay, yes. Yeah. So ReadyQuat is our ready-to-use disinfectant. Uh, it comes in quart bottles. So, you know, the ease of use kind of comes to mind here. So especially if people don't have access to mixing stations or they don't have the ability to, to dilute products, or if maybe you have, you know, a staff that you don't really feel comfortable mixing disinfectants because as we talked in our previous episodes you know diluting these products correctly is extremely important especially when you're talking about disinfectants so if you want to kind of mitigate your risk and just have a product that's ready to go right out of the bottle you just put a trigger on it and go to town that's going to be your ready quat okay uh, so when you when you say that about the ready quat what's the what's the product is this the the same as the neutral germicidal is it a what is the product that's actually there that's that's ready to use that we're diluting it from all right so the main difference between like a neutral germicidal which we've talked a lot about in the past and our ready quat is it's going to be a ready to use quaternary disinfectant so we're still using the same type of disinfectant it's just, it has a different cleaning package in it. It's not going to have your neutral pH like your neutral germicidal is going to have. So it's not going to be good for like finished floors, but any other non-porous surface, it's going to be good for. Okay. What are some examples of, of non-porous surfaces? Are you talking about tables or what, what type of surfaces are you referring to? Yeah. So tables, um, it's, it's actually good for light chrome. So, um, okay. and, stain, and stainless steel. So if you wanted to disinfect water fountains, uh, door handles, uh, most of your high touch surfaces are going to be, you know, non-porous hard surfaces that this is going to be good for. Um, another one that comes to mind, especially with, with kids going back to school, I'm not, 100% sure on what the buses are going to do, but okay. the, the vinyl seats in buses, this is a really good product to use at the end of the day to, to disinfect those those seats. So, and how do you, how do you recommend it's used? Let's, let's talk about the seats on a bus. Mm -hmm. How do you recommend that they use this for disinfectant? Are they just walking up and just spraying it and walking away? How do you do that? What's the application? Yeah, so there are, there are actually several applications. Um, you can put a sprayer on this. As you just mentioned, you can walk up, you can saturate the surface, and then just walk away. You don't have to rinse this product off of the surface. Okay. If you don't have access to sprayers or your sprayer's broken, you can actually pour this directly onto a clean cloth and wipe it across the surface so that it applies the product to the surface that way. Uh, you okay. Can use, you can use a sponge to apply it. Um, so the, there are multiple delivery methods that, that will get it onto the surface. Uh, again, the thing we want to be sure of is that that surface remains wet for that 10 minute dwell time. Right. Because if it doesn't stay wet for 10 minutes, as you you pointed out before, the effectiveness isn't as good if it doesn't stay on there for 10 minutes. Correct? Correct. Awesome. The Quat 44 is good for most applications. It's a it's a two ounce per gallon. Has a really great citrus fragrance, and it has a really good cleaning package in it as well. Oh, so, okay. So the main difference between Quat 44 and your Quat Rinse is, is your Quat Rinse is going to be more for uh, shower rooms, restrooms, locker rooms. So if you're looking for a product, and we actually sell a mobile cart that goes along with our Quat Rinse that you hook okay. it up to, and you basically spray, if you're walking into a shower room, you spray all of the walls down, you spray all of the fixtures down, you spray the floors down, and then you can just walk away. Okay. 
it, it's a really quick and easy way to disinfect a really large area like like the shower room versus having to you know walk around with the trigger sprayer and spray every surface you can just hook it up to a water hose and, and spray the entire surface down awesome so this would be a good application for like in school locker rooms and in the locker rooms at gyms different things like that is there any other applications that we're not talking about is there something else that's out there that this would be a great application for um i think you know, one thing that, that I did kind of overlook in talking about the quat rent and the quat 44 and the neutral germicidal is not only are these products disinfectants, but they're also mildestats and fungicides. Okay. So in areas where you have a lot of water present, you have a lot of moisture present. So this is this could be restrooms. Um, this could be shower rooms. If your school or facility has a pool, you know, around those okay. areas, um, this will actually kill mold and mildew and and somewhat prevent it from coming back at, at least longer than than it would without using this product. So okay. So they're they're very good for that as well. The other one I see is one that's called a restroom cleaner and disinfectant. Why is that better or worse or different? What what is that application? So that application is is much like much like our other disinfectants. It's still just a quaternary disinfectant. Um, the restroom cleaner and disinfectant. What what makes it a little bit unique is that it's designed specifically to run through our Emax dilution system. Okay. So if, if you have the ability in the room and maybe a janitor's closet or a cleaning closet to put up a, a dilution station, hook it up to water. Uh, this will mix the product exactly how it's meant to be mixed so you, you don't have to worry about over diluting or under diluting and maybe you're not killing um, all of the viruses that that the product claims so okay. it just makes it really easy to be able to go in fill a spray bottle and, and be assured that that's going to be the max potency that it needs to be so that it can kill all the viruses that it needs to fabulous so the Emax system that you're talking about, that's mainly in, like you said, in janitor's closets, but that's a really good way to get the product diluted to what you need for the specifications. So and the restroom cleaner and disinfectant can be put in that one. The neutrogermicidal can also go through the Emax unit too, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. That's a great thing. We're wrapping up. I think we have enough information unless there's something else you want to add or we missed on product specific today. No, I think I would just, I would end on talked a lot about different disinfectants and for the most part, they can all be used interchangeably okay. on these hard non-porous surfaces. So I think that the challenge sometimes it was so, is with so many options out there, how do you choose a disinfectant to use and why would you choose it? And, and there's a couple of things that come to mind. Um, the size of your facility, your mixing abilities. You know, if you had the ability to mix product and you have a large facility, our most economical and our most broad spectrum disinfectant is going to be our neutral germicidal. Due okay. To its, its high concentration at a one ounce per gallon. And then as we touched on today, I think it's, you got to look at what are you trying to clean and disinfect? Is it an area that is prone to water and moisture? If that's the case, you want to use something that is a mildestat and a fungicide. Okay. Because those are very prevalent in your areas that are more prone to having water build up or, or water sitting on a surface for a long time. Sure. And then you have to also look at your budget. Um, you know, as I said, our neutral germicidal is going to be our most economical due to its concentration. So you have to kind of consider all of those things. And, and then you, you plug the disinfectant that meets all of the needs that you have. So I would recommend people reach out to your, your essential representative. Uh, you can call, certainly call customer service and, and we'll be able to steer you in the right direction and, and present you with an option that's going to fit your needs the best. Sounds great. Sounds really great. Yes, we definitely appreciate call-ins and we will get you to the right person if you call in. Thank you, Jake. Really appreciate your time today. Um, enjoy Tennessee. Enjoy the humidity. <laughs> Hopefully it'll break <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, um, fa fall is right around the corner. I, I heard I heard rumblings that it's right around the corner. 